Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are finally going to build the Arctic Fox habitat in our city zoo. So if you haven't seen the earlier episode we uploaded, I highly recommend you to watch that one. Because in that video, we are basically preparing this whole area. We are removing the snow leopard habitat. We build a restaurant and we upgrade like the viewing gallery for the king penguins to make everything look nice and pretty and blended in nicely. So now for this habitat, I found a very small art piece for inspiration for this habitat which basically wasn't more than just like this cave entrance with like a log falling over the entrance. I think the art piece was actually meant for like a polar bear habitat or something like that. But obviously we already have some polar bears in our city zoo in the land of the cold area. So we are using this as inspiration for the Arctic fox. So we start with like a separate path, which will basically be like a path going through a cave. So in this case, uh, the guests will walk through a cave and look into the habitat, but the habitat itself won't be a cave on the habitat side, if that makes any sense. So in the cave, I really want to make sure that our guests will be able to sit down and just enjoy the viewing into the Arctic fox habitat. So I put down like a large row of benches and I hide them away with a lot of the aquatic rock so it looks like more natural and that it looks like the guests are going to sit down on the rocks instead of like some benches that are hidden away underneath them. So a friend and around the whole cave we will be adding a lot of branches and some falling trees for a decoration and to really create some kind of natural environment where the cave is built into like obviously it's a fake cave but still I think it definitely looks really nice and I'm pretty natural how this is all looking in the end. So on the inside of the cave, I make sure there is like this glass in between the guests, uh, but also make sure there is like this extra fence to make sure that the guests and especially the kids won't be like leaning too much on the glass or like make a lot of knocking noises and those kind of things. So yeah, really trying to keep a little bit more of a distance between the glass wall and the guest itself. Now on both sides of the glass, we will add some educational signs, which I will obviously also share in my Discord server. So if you want to use these educational signs yourself to have some more variation in your zoo with the educational signs, I highly recommend you to just go to my Discord server with the link in the description of every video, basically, and you can download them in the chat room called Planet Zoo Billboards, I think they, they're called, so you can easily find all the billboards and sometimes I make some webcam footage so you can also use those if I make them. Uh, so yeah, definitely go there and uh, download whatever you want uh, for your own zoos to, to use. So once the tunnel for the guest was finished, I decided to create another path and another tunnel for the guest a bit more to the right of this whole viewing gallery. But this time I did create a cave as well for the Arctic Fox so the guest will now also have this nice viewing into their sleeping cave and we'll just see them a very close up if they are chilling right in there. So once these two viewing areas are finished, it was time to start working on the habitat itself, finally. So we obviously wanted to, wanted to add like some water in the habitat and also wanted to add a waterfall because I don't know, it just brings alive the whole area. So we are going to use the aquatic waterfall to the edge of this habitat and on the edge of the water. And the water itself will be very shallow just to make sure that the Arctic Fox will be able to drink from it and also to cool down when it's summertime. Like I can totally see them playing around in the water once it's like 25, 30 degrees and they're like, oh my god, I want to chill and cool down. So yeah, I think that just definitely fits, especially because this is a European zoo. So yeah, we are going to have winters and summers with like very different temperatures in this zoo. So I did decide to really close off this habitat section to really get this more smaller city look, city zoo feeling even though it's not made with like the limestone and stuff. I still want to make this more of like a smaller habitat 
But yeah, like the Arctic fox really doesn't mind it because they can live in quite a small area. So now I'm playing with Sandbox mode, so I can't really see the exact size of the habitat, but I think it's still bigger than they would need if I would have turned on those settings. But yeah, I, I really wanted to, to create like this more smaller environment for the Arctic fox in this case. And it works really well, to be honest. So the habitat itself will be decorated with a lot of the smaller aquatic rocks, of course, some snow and mulch, and of course also some more plants and trees from the tundra and the taiga biome, especially also with some moss and stuff, to really create this difference between a snowy area but also still more of a foresty area to create some kind of natural habitat for these guys. So as we spoke about in the previous episode, this will be the last land of the cold habitat. So also probably the last habitat that actually has some snow in it. Because after this habitat, we are going to work on our North American region. So if you want to know more about this, I would highly recommend you to watch that previous episode where we did like the upgrading for the king penguin habitat because we talk about like a map that I made and like the future of city zoo and what my plans are for like a North America region, etc. So I highly recommend you to watch that video if you have not seen that one yet. Also, by many requests in the previous episode, uh, we made like this restaurant building. Well, we already made that one when we finished off the Australian area with the African area, like more at the entrance of the zoo. And I did create some kind of small round little restaurant. It's more of an outdoor section with like a drink shop and a food shop and a toilet building really in some kind of city zoo style. And I actually already use that building at three places right now in the zoo and it just looks really well for this city zoo style that we're going for and a few of you requested for me to upload that building so you could also use it for your own zoo so i was like yeah why why not so yeah in the link of, of or in the description of this video you will find a link to the workshop you can Download this restaurant building yourself now. And of course, if you like it, please do not forget to leave a like at the workshop item because it really does help me out with some good ratings on the workshop. So thank you so much for that. And I really do hope that you guys will enjoy using this restaurant building in your own zoos as well. So yeah, I'm now really excited because in the next episode, we're going to start working on probably the prairie dog habitat. And after that, maybe the moose. Uh, so yeah, if you have not seen that map yet, I highly recommend you uh, to check that one out. It's also posted in my Discord server, so uh, yeah, you can you can find it there with like some new tweaks and stuff as well of, of changes with feedback of you guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to uh, start building habitats for all these amazing animals. I know I'm a little bit behind comparing to other YouTubers at this point, but as I said like in the previous episode, I am renovating my office at this point, so there's a lot to do and I'm trying to uh, play some Planet Zoo in between and try to do some recordings in between. But yeah, sometimes I'm just stuck at doing other things at this point. But yeah, I'm almost finished. So hopefully soon we are getting back on track with a uh, normal uploading schedule. We'll do my best as much as possible. But I'm just really, really excited to uh, start building more habitats for all these animals in City Zoo. I'm really, really happy with all these animals, so I'm just super excited to add them all in our city zoo and start a new region for them. That is also super exciting. So yeah, please do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this arctic fox I have it's had. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to see more Planet Zoo content on the channel, I definitely have you covered. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!